night. Even more fun than watching porn with your grandma. Oh, oh, the metal image. Uh, yes, it's Sunday, the night of the week where we mull over the intriguing mental processes of the housemate, uh, housemates whilst debating the latest riveting theorems captivating the world of psychology. Whew. Uh, but don't worry, uh, we can still find time to laugh at Adam hiding his erection. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, here it is again in a handily concise recap of the week. Who in the house do you think is the fakest? Siobhan. You are ready to pounce on the... There's going to be massive fireworks. You could cut the tension in here with a knife. Siobhan, is there a problem? Yeah, no. You need to check yourself and wreck yourself. Siobhan, I personally don't like you because I can't trust you. Come on. I see the hate. I see the disgust. I see the anger. Fucking fuming. You said B and B. Shut up! Don't even fucking go there. You play no, the victim. I do not play the victim. fucking victim. Wake up and smell the hummus. <laughs> Good afternoon, Luke speaking. How can I help you? What is that? My God, I'm almost erect. I say it for here, please. Spark was in there too. That was my own personal highlight of the week. Uh, here tonight to make uh, sense of the senselessness is writer, actress, and all round comedy goddess, it's Helen Lederer. <laughs> Joining her is psychologist Dr. Funke. <laughs> And finally, much like pork rolls, pork logs, and even bangers left in a pressure cooker for 39 days, she left the house done, dusted, and cremated. As ever, their loss is our gain. It's Siobhan! <laughs> now, it might look like ladies' night, but uh, as ever, here to give his own shot of testosterone pr to proceedings. It's Mr. Jamie Ish. <laughs> To proceedings. Uh, thank you, Alice. Yes, I'll be manning the phones again and hoping for considerably less back chat from my phone staff tonight. Got it? Yeah. 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 Really. yeah. Thank you very much. Bad enough I have to take it from the callers, let alone you horrible lot. So if you at home want to get involved, take a leaf out of Scott's book, put on your very best telephone voice and give us a call. The number is 0333 577 Back to you, Alice. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, shall we crack on, ladies? Yes. Let's. Uh, let's talk tasks, tears and trumps. First things first, though, the eviction. Uh, Helen, did the results surprise you? Bear in mind, Siobhan is right there. I know, and of course we've bonded <laughs> we now. Know. I'm just trying to... Ca I do, you have your own language, don't you? We do, yeah. I'm trying to learn. Yeah. Uh, hummus is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yep. thematic Vital. to everything. Just keep saying hummus <laughs> and wreck. Um, well, the thing is, I thought, Connor, I, I think people save the men. Mm. And because you'd got upset, uh, understandably, yeah. and you were revealing that, because you're human, uh, that was unfortunate. And mm. Connor kept his counsel. And Connor should have been out because he, I haven't forgiven him for that outburst. I've got a long memory. A lot of people haven't forgiven And uh, the public don't have a long memory, but you see, I do. Sometimes that is the case. They just mm. forget it is the case. easily. It is the case. Alice. Uh, well, moving on, let's talk this week's tasks, uh, task rules are for fools. Uh, Dr. Funke, Big Brother uh, gave the wardens zero opportunities to fail. Mm. How do you think this affected the group? Well, first and foremost, Big Brother set them up to fail. I mean, giving them zero opportunities to a task that they're not used to. So they must have felt like, well, we could have never have won. But they took it quite well, because I was expecting an outburst. But I think because they've had that treatment from Big Brother time and time again, they're kind of used to it. So they took it quite well. They kind of know now that we're a bit mean. Yeah, yeah. very mean. Uh, the task allowed the house to uh, lighten up a bit, I think, this week. Um, was the light relief uh, a little bit forced, do you think, the, uh, the kind of mm. departure from the bitching, Siobhan? It was, because it was a task lit well. A few of us, I spent the majority of my time painting coal, <laughs> just because it was more fun to break the rules. It was just hilarious. But I think it was because it wasn't an intense task. It was kind of fun and, you know, you had the rules changing on the big screen. So it actually 
well, no, the bitching still continues. <laughs> now I really, I'm like, no, actually. But it was actually a really fun task, and I don't think anyone was that bothered that we failed. Mm. I kind of agree. It didn't really abate, did it? No. I don't know why I said that. Um, people have said it's the bitchiest house ever. Why do you think that is? I have to say it's the bitchiest house <laughs> ever, and I'm looking at Siobhan already. Definitely. But it, it, I mean, the reason being, though, let's look at it. Why is the bitchiness still continuing? It's because Big Brother hasn't reprimanded anyone for being bitchy. So, the, you know, the housemates feel, well, we can get away with it. And it's one person says something, and then another person says something, and then it spirals out of control. And until Big Brother puts a stop to it, I think the bitching will get worse. Are you telling Big Brother what to do, Dr. Funke? I think I need I'd to. I'd watch out. I really would. <laughs> um, Helen, do you prefer seeing the bitching or, like, fun, happy, well, happy times? I quite like it when they laugh. Because, um, <laughs> I quite liked it when Adam roared with laughter, when um, actually <laughs> fell over with laughing, when you came out uh, with the hand thing and not being able to... He could not get enough of that. No, and I just... And that, I, I kind of wore... I like it when other people yeah. laugh, but basically people are watching it for the bitchiness. People get very excited, and Big Brother knows exactly what it's doing, and it's stirring it, and everyone is very unpleasant and in factions, and oh, God, I'm glad I'm not in there. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a relief, to be oh, honest, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Uh, well, Big Brother brought Connor and Dina together with their punishment. Let's remind ourselves. <laughs> Big Brother has stated on many occasions that it's forbidden to discuss nominations with each other. <laughs> oh. Last night... Connor has the following conversation <laughs> with Becky, oh. Ashley and Scott. <laughs> Connor, okay. I don't think both of you would nominate for me, right? Because I don't know what, what? I've done. Did if I I've done something, that. come up and tell me, and that's what it is. Uh, so that was at the table. Then, at 10.59, oh. Dina had the following conversation with Luke A and Adam about Connor. <laughs> Dina, he's going to make sure that everyone votes for me now. <laughs> This is a clear breach of the rules. As a punishment, Dina and Connor must work as a team to complete some hard labour yes. by washing all the dirty laundry in the house. Connor, can I just tell you why I said that instead of shouting? Do, do me a favour, just don't. Even, no, don't. No, just don't do me a favour. Don't. When I'm the one that's heard so no. many times that you keep. Don't do me a favour, just don't listen, talk to me. Listen, did the big brother not no. read out D and B? No. Did they not say that? No. You just always want to argue with me for no reason. You've had no. I have never had an argument on this. I've not done anything to you. I've not done anything. I've not done anything to you to make you say that you hate me. I've never done anything, anything to you. See, that's what I'm saying. Huh? Don't, I don't. Do, I don't. No, I don't deal with confrontation. So just don't bar talk to me. Just a nasty man. That's all you are. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yay, friends forever! Mm. Woo! Um, what will this do for their relationship, if anything? <laughs> I call it a relationship <laughs> um, loosely. Well, I mean, I, I can see what Big Brother are trying to do, is to trying to get them to actually converse with each other. They're just completely opposite. And you're thinking about why does Connor dislike Dina so much? He hasn't given a sound reason. But I'm of the opinion, I think he has never got over the fact that Dina put him up for nomination in the first week. But she's, because she's not, but she doesn't shut up. She should just go, she's got this little whiny voice going, but I don't know why. And, 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 and he's going, just shut it, woman, shut it, woman. Yeah. No, but I'm just carrying on and really annoying yeah, you but really more. Yeah, like but at the same time, he still shouts at her. He's still quite, you know, not to say the word aggressive, mm. but so obviously she's trying to be monotone and say, listen. No, she should just <laughs> shut up. Get out of it. That's our solution. What effect do these punishments have on the house? Oh, none. Literally, you could turn off the hot water, you could take away our chairs, we will still rock it. Like, we literally just <laughs> laugh because giving us the power to nominate and then taking it away, it just... It's, the filter just comes off. But I think in there, I think the, the, the Connor and Dean are never going to talk to each we other. We were saying they've never really they've, had a conversation. I've never seen them actually have a conversation. But I've also never seen them ever have a really big row. I've always well, clearly been sleeping or moaning. Mm. But <laughs> literally, they, the two of them, I think Dina is trying to build a bridge. But literally in there, when you're bitching about someone every day mm. and everyone is bit, it just consumes you. And you, if you dislike it's someone... It's quite infectious, isn't it? You end up disliking them. Well, we need to talk about Luke S's photo shoot because I absolutely <gasps> loved it for one. Um, was it a bit mean of Big Brother, Helen? Well, no, um, no I, um, because it, I thought it was on a par of that uh, uh, Adamagate, if I dare say. Yes. Um, uh, because Big Brother uh, is doing stuff behind the... It's, it's stirring it. And uh, we were talking about this earlier. They had to do it with Luke S. <laughs> oh, he was, was perfect. 
Yes, we were genius. Should we remind ourselves? Yes, Let's. please. I want to see it again. Yeah. Big, Big Brother's called you to the diary room today because a representative from an external company has requested to have a meeting with you to discuss future opportunities for you outside of the Big Brother house. Would you like to go ahead with the meeting then? Yeah. Luke. Hello. Oh, hey, Donny, nice to meet you. Luke. Come in. Obviously, Hi. Matt, nice How to meet you. you? Right. Take Hi. a seat. The status of you and Ashley. Yeah. You, you, uh, we should think about it. Oh, because I came in here and I was like, I'll just get over a bird anyway. But there's loads of stuff that irritates me. It might not last on the outside world, so. Well, yeah, are you, are you coming out of here thinking The Bachelor, Hollywood Nights, Single Life, or are you coming out thinking Katie and Peter, Celebrity Wedding? <laughs> Which I way are you going? <laughs> I'd prefer The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm embarrassed. Because yeah. everyone will be watching it and laughing at me. Oh, they won't. They fucking find it funny. Mm. I should have just gone with my gut that it was a joke. How you said I? Everyone in the neighbour just been laughing at me. It was fine. I thought you was really good. I oh. think it was really funny. Well, you know they're talking about our relationship outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think mostly we are just laughing at him. Actually, I think he is right. Um, Obviously, you were best friends with Ashley. Mm. How do you feel about what he said? Oh, God, it is so weird because I genuinely believe Ashley's in it a hundred percent. Like she's, like he's amazing to her. Like he treats her amazing in there. But seeing that, and I'm like, it's, it's. I think she's going to be upset when she gets out to hear that he's just like, yeah, I'd rather be a bachelor. I think I know she's going to be upset. <laughs> oh mate, I can hear it now. She's going to be like, oh my God. Like she's going to no. He that, might watch. Yeah. She might watch the series though if he does. If he does do it. <laughs> That's, that's a consolation. How could you be taken in by him? How could yeah. anyone be taken in with by him? With that rose in his mouth? And with his when he had the antlers and he did that? Yeah. Is he did that? What's going cringe. through his mind now that that's oh. happened? Well, obviously for Lucas, he's all about what the public think. And we've seen him in the diary room confess that the relationship is not real. No, he's not really worrying about Ashley's feelings. He's worrying about how we're going to vote for him, which is why he went back in the diary room to sort of say, oh, I didn't really mean what I said. But he's going through his mind right now, well, what do I do? Do I keep this relationship alive or do I just kind of be the bachelor? He's been rumbled, hasn't he? I think he, he was rumbled. definitely dreading yeah. that it might get played. I think that's what he's <laughs> about yeah. getting played into the living yeah. room. Well, uh, Jamie will be speaking to Luke S's sister later on to find out what she thinks. Uh, we'll also have some exclusive uncensored diary room action and delve even deeper into the empty recesses of the housemates' minds with Dr. Bunky's expert help. See you in a bit. Uh, on a station spun off from Channel 5, which makes us spun off to the power of two. It's really complicated. Uh, now, we all know our housemates love nothing more than a good old moan to Big Brother. So, yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, so, here's some exclusive diary room clips we've uncovered this week. <laughs> How's your day been being a warden, Luke? Um, at first, I kind of enjoyed it, but now I hate it. I, I almost empathise with traffic wardens. <laughs> Why? What's happened? Well, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to do my job. And uh, people are being argumentative with me when I'm trying to just do my job by giving them the uh, stickers. And, uh, you know, people are contesting my opinion. And they're just uh, a handful to watch over all the time, really. Who's the worst? I'd have to say Ashley. What do you think of the wardens, Becky? The wardens are a bit better now. Like, this morning I was thinking, oh, my God, the wardens are shite. But actually, they're good. Like, it must be really hard to keep on, on ball and they've been noticing things. I think that Adam has been a little bit too strict at times. Like, in the interesting fact, I found that really hard because, like, I don't know what big... The, what you deem interesting, like, do you deem boob jobs interesting or do you deem Henry VIII interesting? I deem interesting talks, talks about, like, fashion and and Big Macs and, <laughs> and cellulite. That's really interesting to me. And I think 
stuff about people's past is interesting. But it's like, it's such a broad subject. Such a broad subject. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Because you like asking people questions. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Yes? Go ahead. Okay, one. Am I an extra on this show? Why would you ask that question? Well, I just think sometimes I can be like a bit boring and just sleep and I just sometimes wonder if, I don't know, I just sometimes think, maybe you think I'm boring. Obviously you're going to say I'm not boring because I know exactly what you're like, but I'm very, very sorry if you think I am boring. I can't really help it sometimes. But in real life, I'm not boring. I like conversations where I have to work my brain and think about it if you get to my drift. But then I think that I'm the only Scottish person in here and even though I've always spoke polite Scottish, sometimes I think in here that my Scottish voice has just gone down the drain. I just feel like I don't even sound Scottish anymore. She definitely sounds Scottish. Uh, well, that's what they've been saying in the diary room. Nonsense, some of it. Well, most of it. Uh, thankfully, Dr Funke's on hand to explain what the hell is going on this week. Uh, let's begin with the week's task. Mm. It gave three wardens power over the whole house. And this is quite like a famous psychological study, isn't it? Yes, this is an experiment that was carried out by Zimbardo. It's called the Stanford Prison Experiment in 1973, where noble people were asked or students to actually be wardens and also to be prisoners. It was a horrific experiment. It really tested people's personalities and people were quite sadistic and brutal to the prisoners. Big Brother didn't really Ours go wasn't quite so bad. No, it definitely wasn't as bad. <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of ours. <laughs> oh, rule breaker! I don't care. <laughs> Connor. I don't give a shit. Oh. I don't care. Connor, you broke a rule. You've got to follow instructions. Oh, break it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline has punishment. Caroline, stop running. Caroline, 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 Caroline. It's all gone shit, up. Oh, attention, please, all campers. No, but if you your seatbelts, nice and securely, and be filled with what? yellow like shits on. If I see you, like, and you're a police officer, I'd be like, fuck me, you see if I was a warden and I saw you, I'd yeah. give you a parking ticket because you have fine written all of you. <laughs> Lauren, when you use the trampoline, you need to make sure you're wearing appropriate footwear. Really? Really. A sock's appropriate. It says in the rules, appropriate footwear. I hate you, Luke. Luke Hay's a bit of a jobs worthy, isn't he? He's he like. I think you know what I mean by appropriate. Um, did you enjoy the task, Siobhan? The task was awesome. <laughs> I, didn't you see I dived over? I had two oranges. I managed to get two bites off the Big Mac. It was amazing. And honestly, we just broke the rules. It was so much fun. Yeah, people didn't... They have scant <gasps> regard for the rules. It seems. No, none um, at all. Was it fun to watch, Helen? Uh, yeah, well, it was a little bit troubling uh, <laughs> to realise just how much they enjoy being the warden. Yeah. Uh, two of them jumped in and then... And what was it, Luke going, going yeah, if no one else wants to... Uh, <laughs> OK, then. And, you know... And I just thought, no, too much pleasure. Uh, very sadistic. Mm. And, and um, I think Luke has to do Amdram. He was loving being that. Yeah, and it divided, it. Yeah, the, it. it divided, well, they divided the friendship already that slightly at breaking point between Luke and Lauren. Yes. Didn't it? Yeah. Because she went, well, I, I can't possibly do it because I don't know which finger you do. But it was just... Like that. I think yeah. she's done that before. I think she has. Uh, Dr Funky, the two uh, Lukes took different approaches to roles as warden, didn't they? Definitely. And I think for this task, we would have expected Luke S to take on the authoritative um, approach as the warden. But Luke A did. He was really quite serious. And like um, Helen yeah. said, you know, because you know, Lauren's thinking, why are you doing this? I'm your friend. And Luke yeah. A saying, no, I'm a warden. You have to respect what I'm actually telling you to do. Yeah. And, you know, and also Luke S, he was being quite comical, which I quite liked about him. Because we saw another side. He no, made it no, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to contradict myself because I never do. But, um, <laughs> I, but I did think that by him being jocular, yes. he undermined himself. And oh, I didn't yeah. respect him. He made a fool of himself. He did. It was only himself to blame if nobody <laughs> obeyed him. Who else do you think would have enjoyed 
the role of warden? I have three people in mind. Okay. First, Connor, because... How did you prepare? Oh, because I'm just <laughs> so advanced. But no, first, Connor and Caroline, because Caroline will follow what any think mm. Connor says. Yeah. But also, I think Lauren. Because okay. Lauren, she Ooh, needs yeah. to be put in a position where she's got some power. She's been intimidated by the housemates. Mm. They've been bitching about her. And I think if she was a warden, she would show... Who she, she would really love the tables to be turned, turned yeah, wouldn't she? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have fancy taking orders from them, Helen? Um, well, I wouldn't have enjoyed it at all. Um, <laughs> I'd have thrown it back thing? in their face. I can, I'm, it's interesting that yeah. you say yeah. you quite enjoyed uh, being naughty so yeah. that you had to do the coal task. Yeah. Well, I might have got a bit bored uh, mm -hmm. painting coal white. <laughs> um, I don't think I would have aspired to I that consequence. I actually thought it looked quite nice. Actually, <laughs> you they should have it in a house. Well, yeah. for a long period of time, <laughs> I think I might have thought of something better I could be doing. <laughs> sure. Um, Connor said that he wasn't phased at all about being up for eviction this oh. week. Um, <laughs> were we surprised that he was much calmer compared to last week? Oh. Alice, he's Have I doing, been a fool? He's doing it for the cameras. I'm so think, naive. You, no, are, but, you but are, think, are, darling. Think about his situation. Connor has a massive ego. So if he tells the camera... I wonder what you were going to say. That <laughs> 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 no, to be fair, it is a bit on the side. <laughs> and he obviously, if he says he's not phased by it, if he goes out, he says, well, I didn't really care anyway. If he stays in, look what he says, right, I've, the people are voting me in. So he's I actually see. making sure that his ego's not busted. I've fallen mm. for the act, mm. once again. Uh, well, after mm. Siobhan's departure, uh, he made amends with Scott and Becky. Let's take a look. Let's keep this straight. Right? Scott, Becky, if I've done anything to fuck you off, yeah. tell me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, but listen, I don't, I don't want to, I didn't want to fight with you, right? No, 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 listen, let me speak, okay. right? I don't want to fight with you. Yeah. I don't want to fight with you. I was talking to Nancy about it, right? Yes. I don't know what I've done to you yes. for this whole thing to come about, right? Yes. Yeah, whenever, just... whenever happens, see whatever happened between me and Dina, right? Yes. It'll never happen, because I just yes. don't like her at all, right? I like you, I like Becky. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm not start, going, you know I, mean? uh, I never want to go over the, drag the past, like, yes. whatever, I don't yes. care. See, like, whatever, ha see whatever happened and whatever, I was I was disgusted, I was angry and I said things I shouldn't have yeah, said, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. I said things that I shouldn't have said. I, I right. was just very irrational, kind yeah. of, and I, I don't want to bring up why. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And whatever we happened in the day room, it was all, it was stupid, and yeah, I apologise for that, right? Whatever I says to you, right, I don't do things that I guess, I don't do mm -hmm. shit that I guess, I don't apologise because I don't know what I've done wrong. I'm yeah. apologising, whatever I've done wrong to you, I'm apologising. Yeah. Ooh, is this the start of a whole new game plan for Connor? Connor's been playing the game from the beginning, but this is a different strategy now. You know, he said to both Scott and Becky, you know, he's gone really close to them. There's no room for them to say, no, I'm, you know, I don't want to be your friend. Yeah, that was quite intense. He's very intense and he's very manipulative the way that he does it. That doesn't give him any room to actually have any other alternatives like, you're thinking. Tell me if I've upset you, exactly. all right? It's like, okay. And he also says, shh, when they I want to say something, say he's that. shush. So he silences them. He's kind of using his power in a way to say, follow me, I'm the leader. But he's not powerful. He really annoys me. <laughs> Oh, and so mad. Mm. Well, he's just going, hey, shush, shush. I hate that. I will not yeah. be told to shush by anyone. So, yeah. well, maybe, surprisingly, I, don't, I mean, I think we are quite surprised. He's been saved three times. Yeah. Dina's been saved twice. Mm. Has the power now shifted from Dina to Connor because of that? Well, in Connor's mind, it has, because he says, well, I've been, the, the public have kept me in three times. He actually thinks the public are voting for him, well, in, in the way that they are. But in Dina, I think Dina's very cool, calm and collected. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's not really worried, because if you remember, the, when there were four of them were up, we were shown that Dina was the favourite out of the four that were up for eviction. So she's probably got that in the back of her mind. Well, let's hear Connor's take on it. Okay. Safe, but a public feels good. Definitely feeling um, happy, cheerful. People may feel a bit threatened by me, you know what I mean? People have been saved three times by the public and I'm hoping that I've got a good following and people actually do like me for what I've been doing in the house and and I hope the people on here are threatened by that because it but a scare tactic never hurt anybody and it may they may think twice if they put me up again, you know what I mean? So it's a good thing. Um, is it dangerous to start thinking like that only halfway through? He's deluded. <laughs> He's totally deluded. The, the, the public haven't saved him. They've just voted for someone else. He's, it's timing. He, he's got lucky escape, and it's just where he is in the, in the chronology of it. Um, yeah. it's, just, it's just chance That's that he's still in you, there. Do you agree with well, that? Well, in a way, the public have saved him. 
So, yeah. you know, even, even though we can say we want Connor to be, people might say, but the public have saved him. So what is that saying? That we might have a view, but the public have a different yeah. view. By default, they've saved him. <laughs> By default. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not having it. Um, did you realise that people were being so calculated, Siobhan? No, no. But the thing is, I think if he was being that controlling, the person he really needs to really make amends with is Dina, mm. because a lot of people are nominating Connor because they think he's intimidating to Dina. But Dina's actually very strong. Like, yes. Dina can defend herself in there but he's not making amends with particular people Luke A or somewhat with Adam he's Lauren he's only making amends with the people that he's probably going to end up already kind of friends with yeah which are Becky and Scott he's not very bright I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Helen's our fan well we heard Caroline say that Ashley's convinced that she'll make the final. Oh. Do you think she can, Helen? Well, you know better than me, obviously. Mm. <laughs> I'm looking at the language. I'm trying to keep the hands down. See the hair. Oh, oh, so hands. I might just go. Uh, I'm just going to say something, and then obviously you'll correct me. Um, I think she's also deluded. She worked, she's gone to be a mouse. She's a mouse. She she's quite, a mouse. She is quite oh. quiet. Maybe because the relationship... Yeah, because really the relationship isn't real. Yeah. But they've just got to wise up to that. I'm sorry. So, mm. um, were you surprised to see Caroline talking about Ashley like that, Siobhan? Yeah, because the thing with Caroline is Caroline has got bigger fish to fry than worrying about who's going to make the final because Caroline is... The bitching is unbelievable at this point. And I've never even heard Ashley... Ashley's like, Siobhan, she goes, I can't even believe I'm still here. <laughs> she's not even thinking about the final, but then it's weird she's that... She's out, she, she? She's worrying about being blonde again and getting her spray tan. Like, that's what's important. Priority. So then in there, I think it's, it's weird that Caroline is saying that and nobody else was like, yes, we've noticed it. It's like she's trying to plant mm -hmm. something about Ashley and then let everybody kind Caroline, of... Caroline, she never bites her tongue, does she? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Well, thank Ooh. you very much. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, ladies. Very insightful. Yes. Um, over to Jamie now, who's got the lowdown on today's new task. You're loud. <laughs> Hello, thank you Alice. Now, I don't mean to ruffle any feathers, but we all know I say it how I find it. And the fact is, bit on the side has, had a, has a new Queen Bee. So move over, Emma and Alice. Here's Jennings from the task team with a sneak peek of today's task. Hi, Natalie from Task here. For next week's shopping task, we're saddling up and riding out into the Wild West. Yeehaw! Take that, cowboys! Go for your guns! Um, yeah, that's how cowboys speak, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. It's going to be called Gold Rush, and like all good Wild West scenarios, our housemates will be taking on the following roles. The good. Yahoo! Yahoo! The bad. Natalie, do you, um, do you know where that trolley is? No, 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 yuppie! And the really ugly. <laughs> That's right, partners. It's our first big costume task of the series, so you'd better take refuge behind the poker table or the saloon doors, because we have got so much in store for you. We've got shootouts, we've got hoedowns, we've got power struggles, and we've got house divides. Let's see if housemates stick it out, or whether they run for the hills. Until next time. Anyway, I'm off to go and check out some rapscallions at the local jail. I'll have what she's having. Uh, we'll have exclusive footage from the task later on. Now, time for one of my favourite parts of a Sunday show, the pub quiz. Uh, it turns out, though, the housemates absolutely hate it, and that's really true, they absolutely hate it. I guess they don't like looking stupid after all. <coughs> Hello, boys. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to Big Brother's Bit on the Sides pub quiz. Great. Are you ready for today's questions? Yeah, Hello. always. Oh, of course. So Question so number one. Which long-running West End musical announced its closure this week after 15 years? What? Was wow. it A, Chicago, oh, B, no. Les Miserables, no. C, West Bit on the Side Story? Um, it's got to be Les Mis, right? Oh, please, not Les Mis. No, I love Les Mis. What was the question again? Chicago. I could say Chicago, I can't. Imagine Les Mis ever shutting down. Yeah, B. 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 I like the way he said it. Chicago. Yeah, I'd say it's Chicago. Chicago. Which famous music star once claimed to be bigger than Jesus? Ooh. Was it A, Michael Jackson, B, John Lennon, C, Lydia? <laughs> <laughs> I love the Lydia. Oh, Lydia. I, love him. I say Michael Jackson. What? What about Michael Jackson? It's, it's, B. B. it's definitely B. 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 No, but John Lennon is very big. <laughs> B. 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 Which renowned scientist had his brain patterns analysed this week? 
Was it A, Richard Dawkins, B, Stephen Hawking, C, Professor Green? B, Hawking. B, Hawking. Stephen Hawking. B. B. Why C, never the answer? How far did Andy Murray get in this year's Wimbledon tournament? These questions, this is so annoying. Semis. No, I said A, finals. the final, B, the semis, Fight. C, the entrance gates. Isn't, 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 oh, 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 let's say the final. Oh, I don't have a clue on, about it. We'll take your answer. What it's that? unlikely you would have got to the final. Semis. Well, the semis? Yeah. Final countdown. Final. 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 Which erotic book has sold Fuck over yes. a million copies in the UK in just the past 11 weeks? A, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. B, yes. The it's Joy a. of Sex. It's a. C, Benedict's <laughs> Best Bedroom Tips. Ah! Oh, a. Jesus. A. Oh, what my fucking God, can you imagine? Yeah. And it's about erotic, oh, okay. I swear, I swear okay. to God. Um, how do you know this? he's in the book club. <laughs> 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 Benedict's Bedroom Tips. <laughs> Which major event was interrupted by a streaker this week? Ooh. A. The Olympic torch relay. B. Prime Minister's questions. Who cares? I hope C. So. The Big Brother live eviction. Oh. oh. That's why it did, was it, it better take forever. What happened? I'd like it to be C. It was it's a, not C. It's C, never the right answer. The C's the joke. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's yeah. amazing. A. The Olympic torch thing. Hey. Oh, big torch relay. You want to pop that? Is it right there? Yeah, I can see that. You want to pop it? No, I don't want to pop really, it. No, no. You want to pop it? No. Thank you very much, boys. That's all your questions. Oh, well done. Seen, You're free to leave the, the diary room. <laughs> we know. Oh, oh, it came out. I know. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> hey, that came out too. <laughs> I work Sunday blues well shame we work seven days a week so go tell someone who cares sorry that that was a bit harsh that was a bit harsh over to you Jamie thank you Alice uh, it's phone room time now although I'm undoubtedly the star of the phone room I didn't write that it turns out for you viewers it's not all about me have a listen to this hi Jamie um, I saw that <laughs> last night that you spoke about the lady on the left and the guy on the right what about that dishy one in the middle? Would that be Johnny? If it is Johnny, hi Johnny, Rebecca here, missing our chat. Night. Wow, what do you think of that, Johnny, eh? <laughs> hey? Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, bless his little consocks. Now, before we go any further, can I draw your attention to tonight's three band words? Katie, Peter, Bachelor. Pull it together. Uh, right, someone a bit special first, I believe. It's Luke S's sister, Nicole. Are you there, Nicole? I am. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, you've watched the show. What did you make I of have. Luke? What did you make of the task? Um, it was funny. Yeah, it, it certainly was. Yeah, it was. It was, it was funny, and um, you set him up good and proper. Oh, not me personally, although... I, not I, you, I, big brother set him up I would like good to take credit. Uh, it was very cringy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a little bit. I did feel slightly sorry for him, and it's very sad. Yeah, I uh, did, he's my little brother. Uh, now, uh, were you surprised that his feelings for Ashley are not 100% genuine? I think he got carried away with the old um, Money. calendar. His eyes were flashing pound signs. <laughs> he got carried away and he didn't think before he sp uh, spoke and then he realised what he'd said and he, that's why he went back into the diary room. He knew he'd he really He's not malicious. He would really generally be thinking about Ashley's uh, feelings. What do you think? Some of the other people Ashley's feelings or think. him coming across as a bit of a snake? Maybe. No, never. Luke is not a snake. He just, is just a putting it out person. There. Has he been no, taken, he's not a snake. Has he been taken out of context, do you think? It has, it has, really. He was just got carried away. He just literally spoke before he fought and he got dropped, carried away. He dropped a big old bollock, let's be honest. <laughs> he's got one big old bollock. Has he? Well, just the one. Very nice. Uh, well, he says it. <laughs> Thank you very much, though, Nicole. Uh, we shall look forward to seeing what both Luke S and Ashley think of that when he comes out. Who else have we got on tonight? We've got Gillian from Paisley. Gillian from Paisley. How are you, Gillian? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very good, thank you. What would you like to talk about? Um, well, I think that maybe, right, Connor might have a secret crush on Dina because 
he's like so rude to her and so cheeky and for like no reason like he just hates her he's so aggressive with her and it's just so weird because you think that they would just be civil to each other so what, why can't he just be civil to her I've no idea what do you think it's like a, a school playground thing where he's pulling the girl's hair did well, that happen yeah, at everybody maybe. else's school yeah, maybe because he's got a girlfriend, so he wouldn't want it. He, obviously, he wouldn't do anything in the house. Um, so I think maybe there is a wee crush there or something because he really is so rude and cheeky to her for no reason. And let's face it, even if you were in there with your own worst enemy, you would still be civil to them, you know? Well, no, nah, probably not. But thank you very much for your call anyway. Who else have we got? Sophie from Enfield. Hi, Sophie. How are you? Oh, Sophie, Hello. 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 Thank goodness Hiya. for that. And what would you like to talk about? Um, I'd just like to talk about how I think that Dina is a bigger game player than even Caroline. Really? Um, I, yeah, I think that what she does is she's very clever because she makes people make themselves look bad. So when she got Aaron up for eviction, she had a big argument with him to make him look really bad. And then he went. And then when Siobhan got put up for nomination, she had a big argument with her to make her look really bad. So, in fact, she just makes people look bad themselves and then plays the victim like she's in. Innocent. You're getting a few claps there. I think they're all pretty much game playing, though, aren't they? I don't think. They yeah, are. they are. I mean, Caroline's also one of the biggest game players in the house. If ever you've seen bitching come out of anyone's mouth, I think she's the worst. Okay. Um, and I think that the way they're all picking on Lauren at the moment is, is disgusting. Because to be fair, she's probably one of the least bitchiest in the house. Okay. And I think that they should all uh, step back and check themselves for wreck myself. <laughs> okay. Uh... Now, that's enough of you lot for now. Thank you very much for your call, though. Uh, the phone room will be back tomorrow. Uh, if you want to get involved, leave a message on this number, and if you tickle off a proverbial fancy, we might just call you back. I've got some crap hair tonight. I'm going to get Siobhan to sort me out some cornrows. Siobhan, will you do that for me? Yes, a million percent, yes. I'm, I'm going to get myself some cornrows. Amazing. Now, we've been a bit stingy on the old exclusive front so far tonight, so feast your eyes on this. <laughs> All the housemates who's most at home, where the buffalo roam, come to the dining room. Why do you feel that you'd be most at home, where the buffalo roam? Um, the wrestling floor, I'm the, I'm the cowboy. Do you think you're a cowboy? Yeah, I'm a cowboy. Howdy, Connor. Howdy, partner. What do you think of the sheriff's new look? I think it looks fan dabby doozy. Connor, you've become the sheriff of the Big Brother house for the next two days of this shopping task. Yes! But every Ooh. sheriff needs a good right-hand man or woman to be their deputy. Oh. I'm going to pick Caroline, just for the fun factor, yeah. You will be making big decisions for the next two days that will affect the entire house, and the first big decision starts right now. Sheriff Connor and Deputy Caroline. Yes. yes. Together, you must divide your housemates into the following groups. These groups will go head-to-head -head in a range of Wild West tasks over the next two days. The good housemates, Scott, Sarah... And look S. Look what? Look S. And the bad housemates. Dina, Adam, and Ashley Scratchy. <laughs> the ugly housemates. Look A, Lauren, and Bex. Yeah! Oh, well done, guys. That was nice. Uh, join us after the break when I'll be doing my best yeah. Jan Leeming impression, bringing you all the latest news. Yeah. Also, a surprise okay. for Siobhan. Jamie's found her secret diary. Don't worry, Siobhan. He's the soul of discretion. See you in a bit. Mates and nominations and tasks seven nights a week, but don't be fooled. Much like Lauren, our main obsession in life is actually bacon. Here's today's news. <laughs> Becky and Scott were getting into the spirit of the task at 12.24 this afternoon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've fancied you for some time now. She's, my knee is right in your panty. <laughs> <laughs> Want a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Did you want a kiss, cowboy? <laughs> cowboy, you want a kiss? 
right, Scott, was the positioning of your knee vital for your characterisation? No, thought not. Uh, at one thirty-two this afternoon, Connor and Caroline select people Scott, Adam and Luke to have the best aim in today's shooting task, and here's who they've picked as their targets. Mm. Becky! <laughs> Luke S. Oh. <laughs> Ashley! <Yay. laughs> Are you declining to do the task? Yeah. Luke A, you must now choose a replacement for Ashley. Excuse me. Will Luke A clarify who he would like to swap as a replacement with Ashley? Lauren. Come on, Luke! Keep going! Awesome. You must now announce which of the three shooters had the best aim. Scott the good. Oh, so Halfway's got their guns out, and for once, Luke S wasn't involved. A little bit gutted. Uh, later at 4:39, housemates got their performing juices flowing. It's time to lumber up and get ready to show Big Brother your do, do see do and Dixie oh, twirls oh, as housemates will be going head to head in a hold down bar dance challenge. <laughs> Housemates have approximately 30 minutes yes. to choreograph awesome. a routine to be performed to the whole group later today. Now walk over to the winners, proudly placing the first place process onto their chests. Well done. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I mean, it was all right, but it wasn't a patch on Siobhan's hoe dip. <laughs> oh, she's going to keep going. She'll, she'll carry on going there. Uh, that was today's news. Now follow me into the sweaty box where I believe I have a new friend to play with. Where are Ian and Helen? I'm so glad they're not here. They're off. Uh, welcome, Hayley. Hello. Uh, what has been going down in digital? Um, basically, it's all been going mental so over... I've just I've thrown my back out. I can't You're catch okay? my breath. Yeah, I'm fine. You're all right. Yeah, I'm good. Um, Lucas and his comments over the yes. Lushly thing. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of comments and a lot of feedback over that, particularly from the female viewers <laughs> sure. out there. Um, we have Dale Leggett says, uh, when Luke leaves, he will be a bachelor because no one else will want him. Oh, now that's a bit harsh. It is a bit harsh. Uh, Jenny Pitchard said she should be told, this is Ashley, um, even if in privacy with him in the diary room, possibly so they could have it out with each oh, other. Oh, right. Who uh, knows? Because that will definitely be private. Yes, obviously. Uh, Lisa Marie says, show it to all the housemates so they all know what he's like. Does uh, nobody feel sorry for him? Absolutely <laughs> no one. No. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Uh, in fact, Laura Casson said it's the best episode she's ever seen. Oh, good. So, yeah. Good. Everyone loves it. Maybe we'll entrap them more often. Yeah. Why not? Oh, Why really? not? Yeah. That's so, that's and something. also, um, oh, we've, just, we've just had a little bit of a moment where he's confided in Connor exactly what's happened. Oh, So well. it's now out in the house. They know what he's said about her. Right, uh, well, that's all we've got time for. Stay tuned for The Bachelor next. Uh, Join us on Five Star again tomorrow. I believe that Jamie has some exciting stuff for us. Tonight's reading comes from the secret diary of Siobhan Robinson, aged 14 and three quarters. The extract is from 15th of July, 1998. What a year. Dear diary, I met a Scottish boy at school. He's in my geography class. He'd just come back from his holidays. He was bringing it to level 10, as Mark Morrison would say. I was so pleased to see the return of the Mac. I love Mark Morrison. He asked me out on a date. I was over the moon. I had an extra long weave done, especially it looked amazing. We decided we'd go and see Con Air, which looked alright for a date, but I'm not sure it's all that memorable. This ain't a film I'd still be banging on about in 15 years' time, I thought. We chatted during the film, but I couldn't work out if he liked me or not. He was such a flip-flopper and was a long way from getting his love signed, sealed and delivered and put in the post box. Postman Pat wasn't driving it anywhere just yet. Anyway, 
After the date was done, dusted and cremated, we went to get something to eat at a tapas restaurant. There were pork rolls, pork logs and bangers. Can you believe he started a food fight? It really put me off him. He said that I was the one that started it when he flung food at him off my fort while we were chatting. He said it was due to my extreme hand movements when I talked. Honestly, I have no idea what he was going on about. I woke up and smelt the hummus that I'd just thrown over myself and the shit was really going down. Was this guy living in Jumanji? I might be the original Peter Pan, but I'm not a two-year-old. The long short of it, I wasn't impressed. So I checked myself before I wrecked myself and I thought, sod it. Like a bull out of a china shop, he made it. Bait was down to level zero. Love don't live here anymore, I thought. Good night.